are back. An all-new season of Beer Money presented by Coors Light. Luke Stuckmeyer and Kelly Kroll. We are just uh, west of Wrigley Field. Yeah, that's right. Leader Bar in Lincoln Park. And we will have all kinds of upcoming locations for this season, which Luke and I are really excited about. You can find all of those locations on our Twitter handle, at NBCS Beer Money. So check it out. Leader Bar is just the opening. We're pretty excited about it. Um, even though it's cold, yeah. I think they'll warm us up with some good answers inside. I hope so. All right, we're here with David. David is a big Cubs fan. This is what they call an obvious shirt, correct? Yeah. Obvious T-shirts? What do you have there? Uh, Kyle Schwarber crushes baseballs. He does crush baseballs. I like yes, that. Yeah. Now we can, we can get another one that says uh, skinny Schwarber still crushes <laughs> baseballs, right? Still can, I think so. Uh, you ready to play? Have you watched the show before? Yeah, I have. I'm ready to go. Okay. Cubs question number one, $10. Okay. Jake Arrieta tossed a complete game shutout in the 2015 wild card game against which team? That'd be the Pittsburgh Pirates. Bingo, we're off to a good start. $10 for you. Now you know how we play this, you either risk it or you walk away. Let's go on. Yeah, you're gonna go on. All right, your $20 question, right. David. Who was the Cubs game one starter in the 2016 World Series? Who started game one for the Cubs? Game one, 2016 World Series. Kyle Hendricks started game seven, but who started game one? That's correct. Ooh. Man, of course I watched every game too. Everybody did, right? But now 2016 starting to seem like a long time ago. It is. Game one, game one, game one, come on. The, the real question is how much time did they have off between the series? You know, did they, yeah. did they reboot and just go with their main guy? Did they... Did they get caught in the middle and have to start somebody else? I don't know. Was it, uh, I might have to go. What do you think? Throw some, throw some names around. <laughs> I mean, I've already told you Henrik started game seven, so if you back it up, it doesn't really make sense that he was one necessarily, but it could be. Yes, it could be. Um, maybe you might be, you know, maybe there was some time there. I'll go, I think it was Kyle Hendricks. Was it Kyle Hendricks? I don't want to talk you into, into anything. I'm just... That's my answer. Kyle Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks, you think, started think one and was. seven, huh? I think he did. What did he say? John Lester. John Lester. Yeah, oh, it was the obvious answer. Sometimes that's... I got to take the 10 back. Oh, damn. All right. I still like the T-shirt. Obvious T-shirts, is that the right place? Yep. That's definitely the right place. ObviousT-shirts.com. Thanks for playing. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Jim, who has a good background story on why we're going with Bears trivia today instead of what you're sporting on your hat, which is the Cubs. And I know you're a big Cubs fan. Why are, why are you going this route? And I love the Coors Light in your hand. Absolutely. Well, well done. Uh, I, I would be humiliated by all my friends and family if I were to miss a, a Cubs question on television. Uh, okay. Bears will forever be number one in my heart. Okay. Today we're going with number two, the Bears. The Bears. Well done, well done. So it's okay if you miss the Bears questions? What do it's you mean? A, it's not okay if I miss any question, oh, but, yeah. uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll suck up with it if, if, if that so happens. Sucking up can help you win on this show, Jim. Absolutely. Well done. Let's start with $10. If you can tell me how many Super Bowls the Bears have won. Have won? Okay, let's go with... Uh, That's a W in yes, Cubs I, terminology. I got that. That, that would be Uno. Number, uh, they yes, they won Uno. one Super Bowl. You sure about that? I'm pretty, pretty positive. <laughs> I'm pretty posititive. That earns you ten dollars. Yeah, wow. So your fans can't, or your friends and fans can't. All right, can't I'm on make, the board. That's right. Definitely. That's right. And you know how this works. You keep going or you stop if you, if you want to leave with that money. I feel like going. Uh, no, we're gonna go one more. Let's okay. let's go again. Well, like, we could go more than one we, more. We, we could. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. For Jim it. in Roman numerals. Which Super Bowl did the Bears win? I should have quit while I was ahead. I'm not good at math. Um, Do you know the number? Wow, we're... Super Bowl, what, did the Bears win? I'm not good at Roman numerals either. I actually had to ask Luke Stuckmeyer before I did this just to make sure I knew what it meant. You know what I mean? Because he's the guy that gets math on this show. Let's go Super Bowl. I'm just trying to get a sense here. Um, how about Super Bowl Twenty? That's a really great answer. Now, I don't know. I want to double check. 
Does he have to show me what 20 is in Roman numerals? Okay, so do you know what do you know what 10 is? How about XX? XX wow. will do it! Wow. Super Bowl 20 has won Jim. Jim, do you right. want this or yeah? Okay. We'll, we'll take it. So now 30 buckaroos that you can wave in front of all your friends' faces and say, hey, I went with my number two team and still got 30 bucks, or you can go for 130 right now. What do you say, Jim? Let's what do you go say? Again. Wow. Let's go again. Rolling the dice here. Hey, you got XX, which means you're feeling pretty good. And if you can name the three teams the Bears beat in the playoffs in their Super Bowl 20 season, I will give you this $100. The three teams? Yes. That's how it works, Jim. Three All teams right. to win the Super Bowl. Well, obviously the Patriots. Um, Boom. The Rams. You got two. Jim, you need one more. Show us what you got, Jim. The Patriots, the Rams, and... Oh, this, is, this might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, the Giants? Did you just pull that out of your sparkly magic Cubs hat or what? Sure. That is correct, Jim! All 130 right. bucks! All right. Big winner, and you did it with the Bears. The Bears. This is my guy, Carlos. Carlos, tell him where you're from. Northwest side of Chicago, but I'm a Sox fan. You're a North Sider, but you're a Sox fan. Is that tough? Uh, yes, it is. Occasionally, it's tough. 2005, it wasn't tough. Right. So, have you seen the show before? you know how we do this? Yes, I do. All right, you ready to play? We're going to do it regular beer money, 10, 20, 100. That's right. All right, $10 question, Carlos. What is Hawk Harrelson's actual first name? Ken. Ken the Hawk Harrelson just won you 10 bucks. Way to go. Take the 10, the Hawkaroo. Now you want to risk that Hawk Harrelson $10 bill and go for the 20? Uh, do my best. Let's go for it. You're going to go for it. Now, if you get it wrong, I have to take the 10 back. You know that, correct? I understand. Okay, here we go. $20 question. Name one of the four major league teams that Hawk played for. All you have to do is name one of the teams that Hawk Harrelson played for in his career. Chicago White Sox been the broadcaster he's been the general manager but did he play for the White Sox um, I'll give you how about I give you a hint sure you know he loves to talk about Yaz Carl Yastrzemski New help? York Yankees Boston Red Sox you want to go to the Red Sox uh, yeah Twenty dollars. Yes, yeah. just won you twenty bucks. Yeah. Now, Carlos, here's the. This is the tough part about the game. You got thirty dollars sitting in your hands. I've got another hundred over here for you, but you have to risk the thirty to get the hundred. If you get the hundred dollar question wrong, I take everything back. You want to walk away with your thirty bucks and eat your burger here at Leader Bar? Uh, or do you want to go for it? Go for it. Oh, wow, a lot Going of pressure, a lot of pressure. Going a while away, but if I lose it, I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is blaming everybody else. All right. In what year did Hawk Harrelson serve as the White Sox general manager? Now, he's been their broadcaster for many, many years, but what year was he their general manager? 1980. You're correct. It's in the 1980s. Which, which year was it? 83, 2, 4. I'm not going to take your final answer yet. I'm just going to tell you it's in the 1980s. You're in the right decade. I don't want to say it was the late 80s, but I know him and Don Drysdale were a broadcaster when they won it in 83. I'll give you a hint. It's not 83. Sometimes it's 83 on this show. This one's not 83. Mm. About uh, uh, I think it was later than eighty three? Like uh, more recent than that? I don't believe so. Or do you think it was early, early eighties? I thought it was early eighties. I'm gonna go with uh or was it mid eighties? That's the tricky part. <laughs> Ten seconds, Carlos. All you got to do is come up with one out of nine years in the decade. 
We'll try uh, 81. 81, huh? Yes. They shouldn't have talked you into it, Carlos. <laughs> 86, 1986. Ah, better than that. <laughs> Peer pressure got you, didn't it? Uh, yes, it did. That's well, I problem. had fun. We had fun, too. Enjoy Thank you. Well, I'm here with Dee Dee, who is sporting her Cubs scarf here. And unfortunately, in April, we still need to be I wearing know. those, don't we? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but Dee Dee, you're a big Cubs fan? Huge, yes. Okay, yeah. well, we're going to try and win you some money with that knowledge today. But we did give you a lifeline. You got your cousin over here to my right in a second. If you need him, let me know. But I, I think you got this, girl, okay? Okay, we'll okay. see. Here we go. Starting off easy. If you can tell me who the Cubs, last Cubs, pitcher to lead the National League in ERA was... I'll hand you 10 buckaroos. Last Cubs pitcher to lead the National League in ERA. I'll give you this much. It happened in 2016. If you can remember who the best pitcher was for the Cubs. Arietta. He was good. You know, that's the, I, maybe that was a bad clue. He was good. John Lester was good. Well, he won. But who was the best? because he was okay, the best Hendricks. in the National League. Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks is correct. He had a 213 <laughs> ERA in 2016. Dee, 10 buckaroos. Okay, so I was I was kind of helping you out there, but next time you got to go to Armando, your cousin over here, okay. your lifeline, okay? All right, I got it. Here you go, Dee. Can you tell me who the last Cubs player to lead the National League in home runs? Last Cub player to lead the National League in home runs. And I'm sure you enjoyed watching this guy. Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa is correct. 49 home runs in 2002. Oh, okay. Me two buckets. All right. So, <laughs> you know, with that being said, Dee Dee, would you like to Your just... Money. <laughs> would you like to just go ahead and take that 30 bucks and go buy yourself a couple buckets? Um, no, I'll go for it. You're going to go for it. Okay, and you still have your lifeline I here. I have my lifeline. Okay, here we go. For $130, you tell me who the last Cubs player to win a National League batting title was. National League batting title. All right, Lifeline. <laughs> All right, Armando, that means we're yeah. bringing you into the picture. All right, okay. Um, Putting you on the spot here. I know, I know. So uh, you heard her answers. She got Kyle Hendricks correct, and she got Sammy Sosa as the last Cubs player to lead the National League in home runs. I am asking her now, the last Cubs player to win a National League batting title. Okay, um, there was um, – <clears throat> Bill Madlock won Doesn't one. matter who there was. Uh, I need the last one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, Mark Grace. Okay, here's the deal, Dee Dee. You have the choice to go with your lifeline and his answer, or you have the choice to go with your own answer. I'm gonna go with my own answer. Okay. Ryan Samberg. Batting title. Ryan Sam Rhino would have been a good answer. Unfortunately, it is not the answer we're looking for. Okay, so who would you go with now, knowing it's not who you said in Mark Grace, it's not who you said in Rhino. Oh, okay. This player did it in 2005. How about that? That should really help. Aramis Ramirez. Or Derek Lee. <laughs> Derek Lee! Oh! She got it, Armando. It came a little too late, Dee Dee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two were so much fun. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Keep you. watching those Cubs Thank games you. on NBC Sports <laughs> Chicago. And next time, Didi, we'll win you some money. All right, Armando, it's your shot. You ready? I'm going to put the 130 right on the table, right on the bar. Okay. It's staring you in the face. Look, I got the Benjamin lined up right there. You ready to go? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Cubs trivia, Armando. Okay. $10 question. In what Arizona city is the Cubs spring training facility? Where do they play and have their spring training at? Oh, that'll be Mesa. Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, Arizona. No. Ten is yours. All right. Well done. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. That was, yeah. Show everybody what that ten looks like. Nice. It's real, it's real money, right? It's real? Yeah. It's it smells good. real. You're going to risk the ten? Of course. Of course, of course you are. All right. $20 question. What's the name of the Cubs' spring training ballpark? Where do they play their Cactus League games, the home games? Uh, it used to be Ho Home Cam, but, but now it's Sloan Park. Sloan Park, huh? Correct. There you go, 20. Uh -huh. All right, thank Good you. Woo-hoo, 
got your money. Now, this is where it's interesting. All right. We've seen a lot of people get the $100 question wrong. Okay. Do you want to take the 30 and run, spend it on some great Coors Light deals here at Leader Bar, mm -hmm. or do you want to risk the 30 and go for the big 100? Okay, I'm going to go for the big 100, but I'm going to use the 100 to buy you guys around you and your crew. <laughs> Oh, wow, really? Of course. Oh, wow. Of course. Oh, nice. Yes, that's why I'm about you guys. Now you're more likely to get clues. That's what, that was oh, smart thing. All right, yes. All right, well done. Okay, $100 question. You should know this now. What was the former spring home of the Chicago Cubs, their ballpark, and which team plays there now? So you already told me part of this answer. Uh, right, I, I get that part. Ho Ho Cam, right? That's Ho Ho Cam part. Park is correct. Which team now plays at Ho Ho Cam Park? Their home games. I thought you were giving me clues. The clue oh, is oh, the I clue is this hundred dollar bill. Ho Ho Cam. I gave oh, you okay. half. I mean, okay. I knew you, you were getting half. Half, yeah. half of the question the was question. already answered. Uh, is it the Nationals? I'll tell you this. It's an American League team. Okay. <laughs> American League and team. a key member of the Cubs team, an everyday starter, came from that team. And and, and Ho Ho Cam. Yeah, this this American League team now calls Ho Ho Cam their Cactus League ballpark, and that team gave the Cubs one of their everyday starters, an everyday player. What position? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, go around, go, around, go around the team. Go around the infield and outfield and just think right. which guys came from another team. Some of them have been drafted by the Cubs, so. Right, right, okay. Uh, crap. Is it? You got, you right. got 10 seconds got now. 10 seconds. ten seconds. Oh, man, don't make me take oh, this, no, Hunter. No, no, I, I could go for a Coors Light. Oh, uh, I can't say that. Just say an American League team. Who switched? Who switched? Who switched? Who switched? Who switched? Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. The five. The Angels. Oakland. Oakland Athletics. Well, I mean, you, you can't name every American League. Are you going with Oakland Athletics? We'll go Oakland Athletics. Because who came from there? Uh, Addison Russell. You're buying everybody beer. <laughs> Now you Thank you very much. I mean, Way you to took me that out. down to the final second. <laughs> Woohoo! Huh? And well I done. wanted to stay home tonight. You were going to stay home? I was going to stay home. Cubs game got rained out. That's you thought right. Oh. That's right. Thank you very much. Pays, right. to, awesome. pays to watch and go to beer money, right? Cool. Thank you. That's right. Well, I'll be here when you guys are done. Let's go to the bar. Let's do it. Dan, who, when I posed that we were doing Bears, just now kind of gave me a look because what? Do you do you have other teams you think you might know as well, or why did you? Oh, do I'm, Bears? I'm I'm a huge Packers fan. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So why are you doing the Bears? Uh, well, my friend asked me to come down here, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm okay. pretty good with football. Let me see if I can do the Bears. Wow. Now this that speaks volumes because <clears throat> this this shirt you're wearing means yeah. that you teach right up the street. But I do. do you really tell people out loud in the city often that you are a Packers fan? Yeah, we, we say it with pride. I'm, what what are the Bears fans gonna say? Uh, hit what, the what road. Hit the road, Dan. Um, <laughs> Instead of Jack, get it? Okay, yeah, that no, was I a bad it, joke. Anyway, but here's the deal. They're not going to care if you lose this game. I, however, I still want to see you do well, Dan. Thank so you. if you can tell me, they just hired a new head coach, the Bears did, Matt Nagy. You probably knew that. Yeah. Can you tell me where he coached in 2017? As a high school football coach himself, Dan, you're going to be run out of this building if you don't know where Matt Nagy coached last season. Oh, stop it. Hey, I, hey. You're just trying to make us think you don't know this answer, right? No, no, no. I don't follow pros much, but... This state actually had two NFL teams as of, like, a year ago. The state did. Now they only have one. Wait, the state had... Two NFL teams as of two years ago. Now they have just one team, and it's on the west side of the state. Okay, I'm oh, a proud oh, oh, alum City, of Mizzou. Thank you. Okay, sorry, Dan. Sorry, sorry. Here's the deal. Oh, yeah, so, okay, all right. 
You know what? The first time one of your kids shows up late to practice, you make sure he doesn't run sprints because I just gave you, right. you know, right, a little I'll bit of forward. leash I'll there. Pay it, yeah, pay it forward. So now you have to play. Now you have to go on for twenty. And right, yeah, your friend who talked you into this, boy, he's getting a good laugh right now. Sure. Can you tell me who had more seasons as Bears head coach between Mike Ditka and Lovey Smith? Who had more seasons Ditka as the Bears head coach? I know that. Lovey. Do you know Lovey coaches at Illinois now? Are you uh, aware correct. of that? I get emails from him all the time actually trying to recruit guys. See, um, now he's dropping. Now yeah, he's dropping big names. Drop we, um, we see you, Dan. We see you. So Ditka was like 11, so like 82 to 92. I'm going to say Ditka with 11. I bet you were good at multiple choice in school. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and 11's right because wow. Smith was nine. So here you go. All right. Woo! Right. Take Coming your back. 20. Okay, so you have $30, Dan. Oops, and we'll get that for us in just a second. Um, $30. You can walk away right now, Dan, and enjoy mm. yourself a nice Coors Light. I probably, probably should. should. I probably should. Or you should. can go for every. How hard for is this question going to be? Well, it's is a $100 it all question, so it's is much, it all much coach harder. questions? All right. You know, this I'm, one I'm, isn't. I'm going to go for it. You're going to go, go for it. I'm going to go for Good idea it. since I gave you those 10. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this one is not a head coach question. This was the Bears last made the playoffs in 2010. Can you tell me oh, what two teams one. they played in 2010? Um, yeah, they played the uh, so they played Seattle and Green Bay. They played your Packers. Yeah, they did, and the Packers did win that game. This is painting every Bears fan at home right now to watch me give you a hundred dollars. Hold out your hands, Dan. 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, and the 10 I dropped on the floor. That's 130. For a guy who is a, yeah, we're not even going to say it, I'm she sorry. said. I'm Get sorry. out of the screen. Go Packers. Enjoy it. Get out. <laughs> the bar has spoken. Leader bar has spoken. Dan, we just, yeah, we'll leave it there. This is Kevin. Got the Cubs hoodie on. It's cold, still cold outside. You're in, you're in this area, right? You live in the in the neighborhood. Yeah, I, I live like right down the block, actually. So when I heard about this, I was like, yeah, I gotta come check it out. This place is great. Seven dollar burgers today, huh? Yeah. I might pick one of those up before I leave. You ready, Kevin? Yeah. You, you know how we play, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ten dollar question. How many RBI does a player get on a grand slam? Four. I mean, <laughs> that might be the easiest question of the season. You got it. Bingo. Well done. You're gonna risk the ten after an easy one like that, right? Absolutely. Okay. Twenty dollar question, Kevin. Which Cubs player set a major league record with 191 ribbies in 1930? Hack Wilson. Wow, not even a clue needed. Well done. So now you've got the 30. The question is, do you risk it and go for the 100? It's always the toughest question. I didn't come here to quit halfway through. So, yeah. so you're going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so look, I got another. 100 bucks right there. $100 question. Which Cubs player holds the major league record with 17 consecutive games with an RBI? Now, before you answer, he did it in 1922. 1922, this player went 17 straight games with an RBI. And it's not the guy I just said, right? <laughs> I mean, it, Hack Wilson, that's a decent answer. That's, that is not, it is not Hack Wilson. Oh, man. This would put you on Beer Money All-Stars, you get this right. <laughs> Ray Grimes. Ray Grimes. Ray Grimes. Uh. I mean, that was tough. I tried to talk you out of the 100 because I could see that one coming like a freight train. Well done. Good effort. Come out next season. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe an easier question next time. Hopefully. <laughs> so that's a great start to a new season of Beer Money right here at Leader Bar. Uh, we had a great time, great group. Great crowd, very knowledgeable, and I just love every season. We get more and more people out here, and there's going to be plenty of opportunities this season. 25 more locations. All you have to do, follow us on Twitter, at NBCS Beer Money. We have 25 more shows <laughs> do, to do. Luke. So we're wow. just warming up, you know what I mean? So we need you to come out and play. What you have to do, follow us on Twitter, at NBCS Beer Money. We'll tweet out where our next location is going to be, and we hope to see you there.